guys, it's Rebecca. Today I am 37 weeks and two days pregnant. And um, I'm feeling better than last video. Um, I still have a sore throat, but it's not as bad. And I'm still kind of congested, but <clears throat> that usually those linger on for a while. Anyways, uh -uh, don't touch the camera with that. Um, so, like I said last week, I've been having a ton of Braxton Hicks. Hey, can you sit here and look at the camera? I've been having a ton of Braxton Hicks, and I found out that from my midwife, um, she gave me like these, these herb <clears throat> vitamins. Um, to take for um, that you start taking it like 35 weeks and stuff. Stop. And uh, hey, we love you. She said that can cause a lot of Braxton Hicks. So, so yeah, there's that. And then um, my appetite's up a little bit. So. Um, I figured it was just because I was sick. So, my appetite's up now. Um, we are, uh, installing the tile. Um, so hopefully that'll be done by the end of the week. And, um, and I've made a grocery list of all the stuff, like all the foods and snacks and stuff that I want to have. For during labor and after. Um, so, you know, after the tile's done and then after we go grocery shopping, then I'm pretty much ready for her. I mean, her nursery's not done, but I'm thinking it's going to be done as done as it's going to be before she gets here. Um, just because. I don't know, I just don't want to have to worry about it, I guess. Um, we still don't have a mattress, but it's not really necessary. I have, you know, I have her cloth diapers. I still need to, um, like, I washed them, you know, a while back, and I didn't even think about it, but since I bought most of them used, um, I didn't even think about that maybe I wanted, would want to strip them just to get, because I don't know what kind of detergent other people used and um, just to get all the, like if there's build up or anything, just to get all that out so it'll be like she's wearing a brand new diaper basically. Um, so I still need to do that um, and I don't have all her one size diapers yet. So I'll probably just do her newborn diapers, you know, now, just so she has them. And then, um, I bought, um, like two more diapers today, and the lady said she'll send them out on Wednesday. So I should get them by the end of the week, but who knows when, you know, she's going to be here. So, um, so I'm going to go ahead and do her newborn diapers, and then once I get all her one-size diapers, I'll do those. Um, let's see, is there anything specific about my pregnancy? Um, I have been having some headaches, but I just assumed that it was because of all the congestion I've been having. Um, but I'm, I don't know, it could be pregnancy-related. Um, but, I mean, I've been feeling really good. Uh, I feel like it won't be long. I mean, I hope... I really hope that it's... That she doesn't decide to come too early. Just because I really need things to be done. <laughs> that I need... that um, Mostly the floor. Like, I just... I need that to be done. So as long as she doesn't come before... next week, then I'm fine. <laughs> um, um, let's see. I 
I've been out of breath a lot. Um, like I just, sometimes I'll just have to stop and like catch my breath. So, and I've been really tired, like I always want to take naps. Um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, pregnancy is really go it's going smoothly right now. Um, I'm just getting anxious for her arrival. Um, oh yeah, we, we blew up our birthing tub last night. We inflated it. Um, so it is inflated in our, it's kind of like in between our living room and dining room, like kind of like in that doorway. Uh, just so it's not like right in the middle of the living room because it could be there for like a few weeks. So we kind of put it like in the middle because we really don't, not a lot of traffic goes through those doorways. Like if we want to get to the kitchen, because we don't really eat in the dining room that much. And if we want to get to the kitchen, we just go through the, the foyer to the kitchen. So we put it there. And Jonathan loves playing in it. Um, it's like a little jungle gym to him. Um, but we have to uh, clean it out. We have to sanitize it. Um, and then Josh has to get a like um, a hose, uh, a clean hose, like a new water hose and stuff for, you know, filling it up and stuff. So we'll get that this week. Um, but anyways, I'm just, I'm really excited. I am so excited about this birth. Um, you know, the, the labor and delivery with Jonathan just went so smoothly and I, I just loved it. Like I loved how it turned out, you know, so I just can't wait. Um, I, don't feel I feel like this labor's not gonna last very long, which is great. Um, I'm actually a little worried that maybe our midwives might not get there in time. But excuse me, we've had we've had a baby before, so we kind of know how to handle it. If by chance they don't get there in time, which they live like an hour away, 45 minutes to an hour away from us. So I know, and our plan is, um, since our labor went really fast with Jonathan, our plan is like, you know, the first sign of labor, you know, um, when I feel that first contraction, I'm going to call them and let them know. Um, just because, you know, with, with Jonathan, I guess we just assumed that, you know, it was going to be a a long labor just because you hear, you know, first time moms um, having like 24 hour labors or, you know, something to that extent. Um, so we just didn't think about it. Uh, we just figured we didn't want to call them too early because we didn't want them having to be here for days or whatever. So uh, we didn't call them and then the contractions started getting really close and so that's when we called them. and. Um, our midwife literally got there, um, she got there like right when I was getting in the tub because I felt the urge to push and then I was only pushing for 15 minutes so she got there 15 minutes before Jonathan was born. So, um, so that was exciting. So we do plan on calling like, they're going to be the first ones that we call. And, uh, go back downstairs with Daddy. Okay, well then sit here. You can go back downstairs? Okay. Um, I'm talking about you. So, yeah. Um. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. Um, but we are in, I am in her room, um, and I guess I haven't even told y'all her name yet, um, here, hold on, I made something for her door, I'll go get it, 
to announce her name. Okay, so I made this for her door, and it's a little tutu wreath. And there's her name. Can you see it? Yes. You can see it? Her name is... Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Peyton. Peyton. Peyton Marie. Her middle name's Marie. So um, we've had that name picked out um, before we even conceived Jonathan. We had our boy name picked out and our girl name picked out. So we had a boy, then so now we're having a girl. So um, I just love that name. Peyton Marie. And it's not hyphen. It's not like her name is Peyton Marie. Her first name is Peyton and her middle name is Marie. But yeah, so that's going to go on her door. And I think I might put some flowers you know, on the side, but not quite sure yet. So, yeah. But this was really, it wasn't really hard to make, but it definitely did a number of my fingers. So, yeah, get out of the way. What's it? So, yeah. Um, I guess I'll show you what my baby buys. Or, um, some of them were gifts. Um, here, I'll do my... So, let's see. So, this was a gift. And it's a little, it has a onesie and a bib that has, um, a giraffe on it and a zebra on it and it says best friends and uh, the woman who gave this to me she just had a little girl back in December so it's basically saying like her little girl and my little girl are gonna be best friends it's really cute and then it comes with socks and then a little giraffe onesie draft print and then the the tops. The bottoms have little ruffles. And then she also gave me uh, this four pack of flannel blankets that um, you know receiving blankets and stuff. Okay. And then some of this stuff was like kind of hand-me-downs from a woman who she said most of the stuff is newborn stuff, but she said her little girl was too big for it. So, so there's this little cupcake on it. And we have a couple sleep or, um, little nightgowns. And I don't know if she'll be able to wear this because this is actually a three month and it's fleece so I really don't think she'll be wearing this outfit. It'll be too warm for it but it's got this jacket and these pants. And there's this long sleeve onesie. And then a couple hats. Basically all this stuff was just stuff that she um, didn't fit in anymore. And then several pairs of shoes. I got these. They're like socks shoes. And then a, lot, um, a few of these are boots, which I just feel like it's going to be too warm to wear these. But they are super cute. Those. And then these. They have the little pink bows on the back. And these. And then these pair of little pink shoes with polka dots on them. And then I just love these. I feel 
like, I don't know how big her feet are, but if she's born, well, here, I'll take these, um, hold on, if she's born before Easter, I went ahead and got her a little newborn Easter dress, um, because her due date is actually the weekend before Easter, so I wanted to get a dress in case she was born before Easter. So she'll have a little Easter dress that I can dress her up in. Um, and I got it at a consignment sale on Friday. Um, I went to another consignment sale on Friday. And I didn't get that much. Um, I was kind of tired and there really wasn't, there's not anything like any kind of big ticket items that we really need right now. Um, so most of the time when I go to the consignment sales, I'm just looking for clothes. And I was really only in the market to look for like some three-month outfits. Because um, last time I bought a bunch of six-month outfits, so I wanted to get some three-month outfits. Um, so I only got like a few things. But this is one of them. This is a newborn dress. Oh, and it's so adorable. It has that flower there but yeah I just wanted I didn't want to buy anything brand new that's gonna be like you know twenty dollars or something uh, especially on a newborn outfit because she might she might be too big for it um, but I figured if she came before Easter she would still be small enough um, to fit into this by Easter but I just think this would be really cute with these shoes and then since Easter falls in March this year um, it's a little early than usual it might still be chilly so I still plan on getting I'm gonna go to my con local consignment store once upon a child that I've mentioned several times um, and see if I can find like a white sweater that I could put over this and then maybe some tights. I don't know if they sell tights there. But we'll see. But yeah. Um, I was just really excited. I just found this and it was just so adorable and it's so little and oh I can't wait. Anyways. So then there's this. And I just love how bright and summery it is. It's a uh, three month and it has ruffles on the bottom. And then I got another pair of pants, three month pants, purple. I'm actually, I have a few purple pants, but I do have a few purple um, onesies. So I figure they all, they'll all get used eventually. And then this little romper that has a flower on it. It says princess. I don't know if you can see that. It kind of blends in, but and then the ruffle on the bottom. But that is all the clothes I got, consignment clothes, and then, you know, gifts and stuff. So put all this stuff back in this bag. And I have to wash all this stuff. Alright, and now down to cloth and diapers. Okay, guys. Alright, so. I got four Alva Baby cloth diapers. Um, these are like China-made cloth diapers. Um, if you go on their website, alvababy.com, I think it is. Um, they're only like $6. They're like $5 and some change. And I've done research on them, like on YouTube, reading, um, like watching people's reviews and stuff. And they said, a lot of people were saying how, you know, they work just fine and um, they work just as good as the expensive name brand diapers. So I went ahead and got four of them um, to try them out. And I only spent like um, $25 on them 
So if they don't work, you know, it's not a big deal. But I just wanted to buy a few to kind of bulk up my stash. Want my one size stash without um, spending bukus of money. So I got this one. And this one's actually a minky one. And it's got butterflies and roses on it. And it was really girly. I thought it was cute. And then I got this one with the owls and then this one and then I got this one and I got this one mainly because I thought it would be a really cute 4th of July diaper so I basically bought it just for one day but obviously we'll use it not just for that day we'll use it for Whenever, you know. But, yeah. So, I will try those out and see how those turn out. Um, but, like I said, I've heard a bunch of good, good reviews on them and stuff. So, I thought I would try them out. Alright, then I got these. These are flip inserts. Um, flip is a hybrid diaper where it's like a diaper cover and you just stick this insert in it and then um, once they soil it you take this insert out and then you put a new insert in and the top is micro fleece so it, it wicks away the moisture from the baby so they don't feel wet so I'm just showing you one insert but I got 10 of these so that's 10 diapers and then I got some bum genius. I got this one that's um, Zinnia, I think is the name, the name of the color. And then I got this one, which I really like this color. It's like a um, purple. It's called Dazzle. And then I got this, and this is supposed to be Bubble. Only, or not Bubble, uh, Blossom. Only I'm really disappointed in this one, just because the lady said it was in great condition, but it's very dingy. The inside is not bright white. Um, the pink, I can see little stains on it, and the pink is just, it's very washed out. Um, and I have some of my small, I have some small all-in-ones that are Bum Genius in Blossom the color that this is supposed to be, um, that just look way prettier than this. Um, they're just a brighter, prettier pink. I, I'll sh end up showing you that in my um, diaper stash video, but I'm just, I'm very disappointed. And I mean, I didn't pay that much for this diaper. I only paid like $12 for this diaper, so I guess I get what I paid for. But she didn't like mention it when I bought it and you know I don't know I'll just I don't know I mean I'll use it obviously but I'm just disappointed okay and then I went to Target this weekend and they started selling Charlie Bananas which I had heard from people that their Target sell Charlie Bananas, but I've never seen it at our Target. So I went ahead and got one, because I had a gift card. Someone gave me a gift card to Target. And this is a print. It's got butterflies on it, and it's so pretty. And I'm excited to try it out, so I went ahead and got one. So yeah, and then I just bought two, uh, three Fuzzy Buns Elites which um, Fuzzy Buns is what we mostly use on Jonathan and I have a few elites for on him the rest are just the regular one size diaper but I have a few elites and I really like those over the regular one size so I wanted to get a couple um, girly colors so I got those so I should get those by the end of the week but yeah so um, that's it this video has run way longer than I thought but, um, 
I will show you my belly because I actually didn't show you my belly last time and I'm really sorry. So I'll show you my belly this time. Okay. So here is 37 weeks and two day belly. And my belly button, I mean, I guess the, the top of it's kind of poking out a little bit, but it's not too bad. So yeah, that is my update. Um, and I am, yeah, so look for new videos because I'm going to be doing the nursery tour and then my diaper stash video. So yeah, anyways, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Alright, I'll talk to y'all for the next video. Have a great day. Bye.